Greetings, I'm Geo Fatboy. I make shaving videos and sell shaving supplies. Visit ShaveNation.com for all your shaving needs. Have a great shave, have a great day. Greetings, gents. I'm Geo Fatboy for ShaveNation.com. I received the package in the mail a few days ago and I opened it up and inside it said to Geo. So I opened up the little box that was in there and there was a very cool little something inside. And uh, I want to tell you about it. A little piece of history, if I might. It's uh, something very interesting. And there was a letter, a pretty good sized letter. I'm going to just read you the letter and I'll show you the object. The letter reads, Dear Geo Fat Boy, Jason Combs from Wichita, Kansas here. I did ask Jason's permission and he approved, so here we go. Jason Combs from Wichita, Kansas here. Over the past month or so, I have been watching your videos and have learned a vast wealth of knowledge concerning the world of wet shaving. For many years, I used Gillette Mach 3 Disposables and Barbasol Aerosol Shave Cream. Oh no. <laughs> During that time, I saw shaving as more of a burden than anything else, but not anymore. Thanks to your reviews, testing of products, and actual video of your shaving techniques, I have gained a wealth of knowledge and now have vastly improved my shaving routine. I have purchased all of my shaving supplies from Shave Nation and plan to do so until I shave my very last shave. Wow, that's dedication. That's loyalty. You are a pro with many years of experience, and I can only hope to be as skilled as you someday. Thank you, sir. I was watching one of your videos a couple of weeks ago, and I recall seeing you use a small spoon to scoop out some George F. Trumper's Rose Scented Shaving Cream. In parentheses, I ordered three of those and three George F. Trumper's Coral Skin Food from you, and I must say, I love that stuff. Close parentheses. And you placed the dollop of cream at the bottom of the Cayenne Red Indestructible for lathering. When I saw that, it gave me an idea. Because, in my humble opinion, using a common spoon is not good enough when partaking in the fine ritual of wet shaving. I agree, he's right. So I found a pair of sterling silver mustard spoons to use for that particular step in the shaving routine. They were made in London, England in 1811. The scoop is the perfect size for the almond-sized dollop needed for the lather bowl. I have discovered that by putting my shaving cream in the refrigerator, It'll set up and be easier to scoop out and dump into the bowl. So in my routine, I let my brush soak and I let the shaving cream thaw in the lather bowl while I shower. And after that, the shaving cream is ready for lathering. The spoon is also the perfect size to let rest in either the indestructible or the Chicago Artisan Bowl when finished. I didn't need two of them, so I guess that you may like the other one. Just think, for many years, during the English Victorian period, generations used that spoon for mustard or salt and the like. And after 210 years, one ocean crossing, and Lord knows how many states later, it may have a new purpose as a shaving cream measurement spoon. Thank you for your instructional videos, great business, and hospitality. I hope you enjoy the spoon. God bless you, your family, and may your business flourish for many years to come. Sincerely, Jason Combs. Here's a look at the spoon. Is that cool or what? It's a little deep, it's small, but it is just the right size to scoop out some shaving cream and put it into the Shave Nation bowl. And just think if this little spoon from 1811, if this spoon could talk, I bet it could tell some really cool stories. They say you like to be a fly on the wall in that room. In my shop, I have a picture of the Rat Pack and they're playing pool. Dean Martin, uh, Peter, Peter Lawford, Sammy Davis Jr., and Frank Sinatra, and they're shooting pool. And I always think to myself, wow, I would love to be a fly on the wall in that room. Well, I'd like to be a spoon on the table all the times this spoon was used and hear the conversations and see what was happening during that time. Just a piece of history that's very cool. And sir, I thank you for sending me this and the good thoughts and good words and the letter behind it, and the history behind it. Now every time I use it, I'll be thinking of English people having their dinner or breakfast or lunch. Well, no mustard at breakfast time probably, but having their lunch or dinner, maybe they used it to scoop the sugar into their tea. There you go, with Pinky Bent, like so. <laughs>
<laughs> well, thank you very much for the gift. And I just thought you might all enjoy it. Just a little piece of history. And just another cool thing about this whole wet shaving experience. People from all around the world get into it, send things to each other, talk about items, products, razors, creams, whatever. It's a wonderful brotherhood. I'm happy to be a part of it. So that's it. As long as we have the new spoon, let's test it out. George F. Trumper's Rose Shaving Cream. We'll do a reenactment of the previous video with the very same cream. Look how much is left in here. Not very much. But I will scoop some of this out. Oh yeah, that's perfect. And you can, you can rub it. You can just take it over the side and level it off like so. So it gives you just the right amount. Look at that. Look how sweet that is. And I'll just drop that right into the Shave Nation Bumpy Indestructible. Right down in the bottom. Perfect. Got it in there. Here's the Chubby 2 shaving brush in my marble cup. Let's dump that out. Shake out the water. We'll go right into the bowl. See if we can mix a lather. Oh, that smells so good. That George F. Trumper Rose. Excellent smelling shaving cream. It's pink. It's coming up pink around the sides all the way up to the top. Scoop that right back down. Look at 10 seconds. Right back in there again. Lots of lather. Look at that. How much more do you want in less than 30 seconds? Woo! Very nice. About 30 seconds. More lather than you need for three or four passes. So the spoon gives the perfect amount. I guess we'll have to have these made. We'll have to duplicate this and get some of these made. I've cleaned it out and let's have a look. Here you can see that the handle is silver and the spoon portion of it, the scoop, is actually a bit yellow. So maybe they really did use it for mustard and it turned the color of the silver to yellowish or maybe that's just the tarnish. Over the years, it's got a nice patina to it. A very interesting little piece of history right here. Pretty awesome. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Visit ShaveNation.com for all your shaving supplies. I'm Geo Fat Boy. Have a great shave. Have a great day. Uh-oh. Looks like I have a 4 o'clock shadow. Gotta go to ShaveNation.com. Have a great shave. Have a great day.